Hello yarn friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Morgan with Dream 9 Design. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet these easy um, plushies, crochet plushies. They are melted ice cream cones. I absolutely love them. You may have seen these on TikTok or other platforms online, um, but today I'm going to show you how to make your very own. So let's go ahead and jump into the materials that we'll be needing and get into the video. Before we do though, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below Below and subscribe to my channel. The material that we will be using for today is some Bernat blanket yarn. I am using this shimmery color. It's a baby blanket and then just like um, more of a cone color. You'll need a pair of scissors, a stitch marker, a little bit of black yarn for the mouth. I am using a seven millimeter hook. And then you will need some safety eyes. I will try to put this in the description down below. I don't know the exact size, um, but these are the ones that I will be going with here. Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Oh, you will also need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle, if I forgot to say that. <laughs> I do also want to note that you will need some polyfill to fill the inside of this. To begin, we are going to start on the body of this melted ice cream. So we are going to start with a magic ring or the magic loop. And if you do not know how to do this, I will actually put a link right above and you can go ahead and click on that. And I do have a video on how to do this. Once you have your magic ring, you simply want to place six single crochets into that space. Okay, once you have that done, you want to simply tighten up your magic ring. For round two, we are going to place two single crochets into every single space. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Here's our first stitch. And when you make your first stitch, you want to put in your stitch marker so that you don't lose your place. Sorry, I have like dirt on my crochet hook. Let's get this off really fast much better. Okay, so once you have your first single crochet, you are actually going to go back into that very same spot and put one more single crochet. So this is an increase row. Uh, again, this is a very easy, simple pattern. Um, so now into every stitch, simply place one single crochet, or excuse me, two single crochets into every stitch. At the end of this row, you will have 12 stitches. All right, so this is what it's looking like. Moving on to round three, we want to take out our stitch marker. And now into the first space, you are going to place one single crochet and put your marker back. Now this is an increased row again, um, but now we're gonna be increasing into the next stitch. So into the following stitch, you are going to place two single crochets. One and two. Okay, now into the next space, you're going to place one single crochet. Into the following stitch, you'll place two single crochets into the same space. So go ahead and increase all the way around. I'll meet you guys back here. So at the end of row three, you'll have 18 stitches. Now moving on to our last row of increases, um, into this first space we will place one single crochet and replace your marker. Into the next space you will place one single crochet. And then into the following stitch is where you'll do your increase. You'll place two single crochets into that space there. So this is a standard, you know, increase. Uh, so one stitch here, one stitch, and then two into the following. 
So do that for your final increase row and I'll see you guys back here in just a few minutes. For the next two rows, so we have done one, two, three, four rows. So rows five and six, you will simply want to place one single crochet into every single stitch like you normally would, no increases or anything. So go ahead and work those rows and then meet me back at this video. All right, guys, so I actually ended up doing one more row of single crochets. So in total, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows here. So I did three rows in total of single crochets with no increase. Now we're going to go ahead and work the bottom portion now. You can take your stitch marker out and set that aside. And for this last row um, for the top portion, I'll show you really fast. We're going to go on and work right here, and then we're going to work the bottom part separately. So for this portion, we are going to be working into the front loops only. So if you see here, and it's really hard to kind of see with this yarn, but we're going to be working into this space here so that we leave this little bump in, left in the back. So then to begin, we are simply going to start with a single crochet in that first space. If you would like to put a marker just so you know where it is, you can totally do that. Now into the next space, we're going to yarn over and we're going to actually work four double crochets into this space, um, into the front loop only. So yarn over, go through two, go through two. Oops. So that'll be your first double crochet. Here is your second, and you're doing this all into the same space, again, in that front loop only. Here's three, and here is four. Okay, there's your first little guy. Now into the next stitch, into the front loop only, we are actually going to make a slip stitch. Just like that. Into the next front loop only, we will place four double crochets into the same space. So here's one, two, three, and four. See that, guys? Now into the next space, we will simply make a slip stitch. Okay, now you wanna just do that all the way around for double crochets into one space and the next you'll do a slip stitch. And you'll see this is gonna leave these little bumps in the back and that's what we want. So work that all the way around. Um, this one I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I believe. But I'll let you know how many I come out with this. Should be about seven. Meet you guys back here. All right, guys. So I ended up having 11 little bobby guys here. Now we are actually going to cut off in just a minute. Um, I'm sorry, we're not gonna cut off. We are going to work the bottom part, but we will stop. Um, so here's our first stitch, and we are actually going to be working um, working into that back loop. So if you see here, because we were working in the front loops, we had this little bump around the edge. So that's where we are actually going to start working. So you want to find the first back bump right here in your first single crochet. Let's see, it's kind of hard to see on camera. Right there. And we are going to place one single crochet. And then you want to place your marker back here. And this row, we are just going to simply place one single crochet into the back loops right here. So here's our next one. Excuse me. Here's our next little loop. Again, it's a little difficult to see. There's two. Just go along all of these bumps 
and work one single crochet. So as you see here into these back little loops. So go ahead and do that all the way around for this row, just one single crochet into each one of those back loops. And I will meet you back at the beginning of the row. Okay guys, so I'm back at my stitch marker and this is kind of what the bottom is starting to look like. At this point, we actually want to add our face. So I'm going to draw up a loop and we are going to add the eyes first. Now, if you count from the bottom row, I count one, two, three, four. So in between the third and the fourth row is where I'm going to put the eyes. And then I have one, two, three, what's that? Four stitches in between. So we'll count up one, two, three, four. So in between the third and the fourth row, I'm just gonna place one eye. I'm gonna count over one, two, three, four. And you can change the placement. You can put the eyes wherever you would like. Um, but I think that that will be a good spot. So I'm going to attach these really fast with the backings. So go ahead and do that. Now, if you have a little bit of a cone bit to the top, you can always just pull on this. So once you have the eyes, go ahead and attach your mouth. If you do not know how to do that, go ahead and click the link right above here. I do have a video on how to do that. All right, now once you have your face, we are going to get back to working our rows. So we want to start working our decreases. So where our first stitch marker is, we wanna go ahead and take that out. And I'm just gonna show you one row and then I'll show you how many rows to do. So under the first stitch, you're gonna place one single crochet. Go ahead and place your marker back in there into the next stitch you will place one single crochet and then over the next two stitches we want to do a single crochet decrease so we're going to go in pull up a loop go into the next space pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three so we're going to do that again so we'll do two stitches and then a decrease so we'll do one single crochet here one single crochet into the next and then we will do a decrease. So go ahead and do that all the way around. This is our first row of decreases. And I will meet you back at the stitch marker. Row two of decreases, we are going to do one single crochet and then a decrease. One single crochet and a decrease. So go ahead and do that. And then we will stuff our work. So meet me back here. Now, this is the point where you want to add some polyfill to your work. You don't want to overstuff or understuff stuff this, so just kind of go with your gut feeling on how much you feel is appropriate. I just do little bits at a time. You want to make sure more that the top is stuffed and not the bottom, because we want the bottom to be a little bit more flat, right? So we don't want to overstuff and make this super not set flat. So I think that that can be a little bit more. All right. There we go. At this point, we want to go back to our decreasing and I'm back at the first stitch and we are going to decrease into every single stitch around. So make sure that you are still keeping track of your stitches with a marker. So go ahead and decrease into every single stitch. At this point, go ahead and cut yourself a little bit of a tail. You will still have a small hole. Um, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and you can go ahead and pull that yarn through. At this point, I just like to go back and forth and just kind of close this hole up. Just like this. Okay. And then once you're done, you can simply hide this end in your work. And then you will just go ahead and cut that off after. Oops, I think I'm stuck on another stitch. I'll do that in a minute. So this is what your ice cream cone guy is looking like. 
at this next point, we are going to go ahead and make the cone portion um, really fast for the top. Now, for the ice cream cone part, we want to the um, top cone. We actually just want to start with a slip stitch again. Again, if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and check the link that I had put in before. So you actually want to start by placing six single crochets into this loop. So there's two. Go ahead and do that and meet me back here. Once you have your six stitches, you want to simply go ahead and close that up. Now we are going to do some increases. So into the first stitch, we are actually just going to place one single crochet stitch. You then want to grab your stitch marker and place that into that first stitch. Now we are going to do an increase into the next stitch. So into the next stitch, we'll do two single crochets, one and two. We're going to continue to do that all the way around one stitch and then an increase, one, one, two. So at the end of this, you'll have nine stitches. For round three, you simply want to place one single crochet into every single stitch around, so no increases. Make sure you place your stitch marker. So go ahead, round three, one single crochet into every stitch. Round four will also be an increase row. So into the first stitch, place one single crochet, place your marker. Into the next stitch, you will place one single crochet. And then into the following, you will do two single crochets into the same stitch. So two single crochets and then an increase. Go ahead and do that for round four. And then round five, you will simply place one single crochet into each stitch. So at the end of this round four, you'll have 12 single crochets. And then work round five with one single crochet into each stitch. I'll meet you back for row six. Now I went ahead, finished row four, I worked row five. And now for row six, we will do an increase. Into the first stitch, you simply place one single crochet. We're going to be placing one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the third, and then into that fourth stitch right here. Um, excuse me. Yes, into the fourth stitch right here, we're going to place two single crochets, one and two. So we'll do that all the way around into one one single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then increase. At the end of this row, you'll have a total of 15 stitches. So go ahead and do that for row six, and then row seven, you will simply do one single crochet and do every stitch with no increase. So go ahead and finish row six and seven and meet me back here. This is what it should look like, guys, when you get to round eight. Now for row eight will also be an increase. It is going to be the last increase. Where did I put my stitch marker? Make sure you have that marker. Work one stitch, a single crochet, a single crochet in the next, into the third, into the fourth, and then into the fifth stitch, we will place two single crochets. So work four single crochets and then an increase. At the end of this row, you'll have 18 stitches. When you get done with row eight, go ahead and work rows nine and 10. Nine and 10 will just be single crochets into every stitch with no increases. When you get done working those stitches, you simply want to slip stitch into your first stitch there, chain one and leave a long tail just like that. And that's what your cone looks like. You want to thread your tapestry needle, find the placement of where you want your cone to start. And I go through one stitch first, and I usually start sewing in the back. And then I just go in and out like this. And then I'll go back through another stitch. This first part's a little tricky. You just kind of want to make sure that you have your placement where you like it. We will go ahead and stuff this cone after. So now we'll go into the next stitch and kind of go up one row. And then I 
go back through the top. I don't go through the bottom. And then you just want to do this all the way until you have it sewn almost on. You wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll show you guys when I have a little bit of an opening and then we'll stuff this. So just simply go through your work again and just doing this all the way around the cone. I have done most of the cone and now I'm just going to throw a little bit of stuffing in here. You don't want to, again, you don't want to overstuff this. You just want to make sure that you have enough in there. And now go back to sewing this in. And then just working your way around these stitches in and out, in and out. And here you have the final product, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you guys all next time. Thanks so much, YouTube and yarn friends.